Good morning, Sierra Vista. My name is Gabby. And I'm Caitlin. Today is Monday, October 31st, 2017. Happy Halloween! Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. ASB is hosting a Halloween costume contest today. To enter, come to room 1002 during brunch if you are wearing your costume and want to sign up to be in the contest. We have limited spots available, so be sure to sign up at the beginning of brunch. Contest winners get a prize. Let's see those awesome costumes. ASB is also hosting a Mix It Up Day at brunch today. Your teachers will pass out cards with Halloween creatures on them, and you will have to find a person who has the same card as you. After you have found a person with the same card, get to know your partner and learn at least three things about each other. Once you have done that, come out to the quad and tell ASB the three things you have learned about each other to get a piece of candy. Attention 8th graders and parents, if you're interested in going on the 8th grade Washington DC trip, there's still space to sign up, but do so as soon as possible. If you need information, see Ms. Contis in room 626 or email her at kcontis at heartdistrict.org. Join the DC trip club and go on this amazing trip of a lifetime. Define SCV has a lunch meeting this Thursday at lunch in the NPR. This is the last day to turn in your field trip permission slips. I'm Mrs. Mowry. And I'm Miss Fouch. And we are Between, Between Two Books. Welcome back, readers. Yeah, welcome back. Uh, I'm glad to see that your teeth are back to normal and there's no candy corn out here. I'm not allowed to have the fun teeth anymore. No. It's against the rules. Yeah. Speaking of rules, the book I'm going to talk about today is actually called Rules. It's about a young girl named Catherine who has a younger brother with disabilities whose name is David. And David, he's he can be kind of loud and he doesn't understand social norms and he struggles a lot. So Catherine invents a bunch of rules for David to follow so that she can pretend to have a normal life. And when she meets a new friend, she realizes that maybe trying to be so mean to David is not such a good idea. And some of those rules are really funny. They are. And so it will, it's like a heartwarming tale. Mm -hmm. And what's really awesome is you can find this exact book featured in the library in the eighth grade poster contest. So you seventh graders out there, look out for when the voting starts so that you can vote on the posters you think are the best. Yeah. Um, I wanted to share my spooky story with you this time Ooh. since you shared one last time. Yeah. Now, I talked about this a couple years ago, but this is just one that I really enjoy revisiting, and some of my students are reading it right now. It's called 13 Chairs by David Shelton, and it's about a character. Um, his name is Jack, and he goes into this house, and he goes up to this third door, and it kind of starts in the house, and you kind of have to figure out what is going on, and why is he in this house, and why is it dark? But there's a little bit of lighting, just like this microphone, a little bit of lighting underneath the door, and he opens the door, and there's 13 chairs in there, and suddenly people come in and sit down at the chair and he just feels this obligation to sit down and one by one each person tells a story and they're kind of spooky some of them are a little cheesy and a little silly but a lot of them are spooky and for some reason they're all connected mm -hmm. and so at the end of the story you finally get to see what the connection is between the 13 stories yeah this was maybe the first spooky book that you recommended that I read and was like okay definitely a little creepy totally mm -hmm. like sucks you into it you really want to know how are all of these books connected it's an easy read it kind of reminds me of goosebumps a little bit mm -hmm. um so if you like those it's like thir 13 short goosebumps stories i can't even talk anymore I know, right? so excited looks like we have to end this episode a little bit early we hope you like our recommendations and feel free to send us an email if you have anything you want to be featured on between two books yeah Mari? stouch out That's all for today, Plainsman. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Gabby. Have a happy Halloween.